In this lecture, we are going to talk about how to select the right metrics and use that to drive the right behavior in your organization or your team. Quite often, we have to remember that every employee, including you, your manager, your owner, your promoter, till the last guy in your company, thinks from a perspective of himself. Every time any change happens in the organization, all of us put ourselves in the center of that change and view the change from our perspective. So we think about how does it impact me? What will happen to me? Am I in the center of this? And is this mine? So that's the thought process that goes through all of us. Thus, as a leader, if you want to drive right behavior in your organization, then you have to make sure that you use the right metrics to measure the performance because people know that they get paid, they get recognized for their performance. And quite often, all of us, all organizations use tangible ways to quantify the performance of our employees. So metrics drives the behaviors. Remember that you could create any kind of process as long as their incentives are tied to the metric and that particular metric is contradicting the process, they would never adhere to that process. Let me give you a very simple example. Um, when I used to work for banks, we used to have a metric which talked about risk and we used to measure risk by the number of observations that are reported in the external audit. 